Today we're getting back on the axe strop project and the hide, we have a one deer hide. Uh, two of the hides were stolen by bears, as some of you will remember, and that's why I have this up here. If it's in here, I'll hear them and I can get up and scare them off. But there's one hide left, it's been in here for quite a while. Um, I'm sure it's been in there long enough. I took it out a week and a half, two weeks ago, and it wasn't ready, so I put it back in the line. And this is what we want to see right here. See that? Nice and easy. It just I can just push it out with my hand. All right, I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot of hair sticking in here. It's like little hairs sticking out. They could have been new hairs that were growing in, but either way, I think the verdict is that this could be limed longer. I'm gonna go ahead and scrape out what comes out easy, and then it's gonna go back in lime for at least a few more days, but fresh, strong lime. I'm gonna add lime to the solution that's already there. Bump up the strength. And I'm, I'm sure it's ready now, so regardless of what condition it's in, we're just gonna go ahead and proceed today. I already have a video on this. I'm just gonna basically refer you to that for most of the details. But I think what I'll do today is I'm just gonna put the hide on the beam, work on it, and then I'll just talk as we go. And uh, today I have help filming from Kevin Nielsen who is also a tanner, so he knows uh, how to film this. Okay, let's get busy. Okay, so this is our dull tool, and as you can see, I pretty much took the hair out already, but there's remnants here that didn't want to come out, and that's why I put it back in the lime. But the other factor is that sometimes the hide swells so much, you can see how it's kind of rubbery like this and swollen. It's really thick, but even though it's destroyed the hair root and the hair should fall out, it actually swells up and grabs the hair and won't let it out. I'll get out what I can now. Like I said, I'm, I'm sure that this is limed enough so I'm going to take out what I can get out and then as the hide is rinsed it will begin to relax and hopefully let go of any hairs that are still uh, hanging in there. So again, if, you, if you're going to actually do this, definitely go watch my video on, on herring. This is also known as de-herring, depilation, unherring. So see these hairs right here? That's what I'm talking about. Um, you know, I can't push really hard or I'm gonna damage the grain. That's a bold bird. He's like 15 feet away. This is where the hide was dragged. So the deer after it was shot was dragged and there's all this damage to the grain. But that doesn't matter because we're using the flush side mostly. So that'll just be glued down if we use this hide. Depend, it just depends on how it turns out. You'll also notice that I'm pushing gunk, white gunk out of the hide. Eventually we want all that stuff out of the hide. So this side, really both sides will be gone over, over and over again to get as much of that gunk out. Dissolved lime, dissolved solids, fats, you know, dissolved proteins, whatever kind of gunk is in there in the skin that's not the clean network of fibers that we want for leather. Uh, we want to kind of push anything that's dissolved, we want to push that stuff out. Now this flesh side will be gone over multiple times as well, so I'm not trying to do a perfect job. 
if this was the final flushing, I'd be coming back, getting all this little white stuff here. Um, you know, there's a patch right there, but I just don't care. I'm gonna come back so many times um, just to get the hide clean in terms of like it, its interior, like pushing out all this dissolved gunk in here, that this will just kind of happen as a matter of course. And then after the tie is partially tanned, I'll take it out and do it one more time and get all this remaining little bits of stuff. gone over the flush side and again I didn't try to do a super good job because we're going to go over it many times and especially once it's a little bit tanned and we take it out this stuff's going to come off super clean and super easy. So good enough on that. The hair side I pushed out whatever would come out. There's definitely hairs left. They'll either come out as the hide relaxes as we're rinsing it or they won't. We're going to find out but it doesn't matter too much anyway. So next steps we are going to rinse this and try to get out all of the lime and all the stuff that the lime dissolved. That's like fats and proteins and whatever kind of gunk is in there. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna keep changing the water and in between changing the water, we're gonna scrape it again, just like I did, pretty much exactly the same. And we're just gonna be pushing stuff out of it. And eventually it'll seem like the water that's coming out of it will be running clear instead of all cloudy and milky and murky like it was and then it's time to move on from there. We'll probably soak it in one or two other solutions, which we'll talk about later. And then it goes in a tanning solution of shredded bark. And then, you know, obviously there's more steps from there and we'll get to those later. So right now we're just gonna get this rinsing, rinse off the, you know, obvious, there's still like hair and gunk on here. So I wanna rinse that off and then get it soaking in fresh water. And that's it. See already the water's becoming murky. I'm gonna put it back on the beam and kind of do the same motions to push out, you know, liquid from the skin. And then once that liquid's pushed out, I'll re-soak it to refill the skin with fresh, clean liquid, which will, you know, wash out more stuff. And we see how rubbery this is, like the way it stretches, kind of weird, and it's all thick and swollen. As the hide is rinsed and scraped, the stuff is scraped out of it, it's gonna to start to relax and return to its normal state and it won't have this like heavy, thick, rubbery feel. I pushed out a lot of liquid, so I wanna make sure the liquid gets back in there and gets the hide completely soaked again. 